Uh, so I'm doing packet tracer 2.2.3.4, and it's uh, configuring initial switch uh, settings. Uh, background, basic switch configs. Uh, this includes passwords, uh, messages, uh, and messages are basically CYA, uh, cover your ass type of the situation. Okay, so first things first, I go over to switch one. And go over to CLI. A lot of the stuff that you're going to be doing uh, for uh, Cisco is going to be in CLI. And that's command. Um, that's command. Uh, command line interface. So we're going to do an enable, which is going to uh, change the greater than symbol to a uh, to a pound sign, and then. Uh, we're going to verify the default switch configuration by doing the show uh, running dash config. How many fast Ethernet interfaces? There's going to be 24 of them. And then two gigabit Ethernets. Uh, for the VTY, that's zero to four. And then five to 15. So for all practical purposes, it's zero to 15. <laughs> Which command will display the current contents of... Uh, in VRAM. Uh, and this one is going to be our show startup config. And why does the switch respond with uh, startup config not present? Uh, probably because it's been deleted uh, or one hasn't been saved yet. Uh, so part two, uh, create basic switch config. Uh, so config T. Uh, and we want to change the switch name to S1 inside the system. Yes, we may have... Uh, Put S1 in the label maker and created a label that says S1. Uh, but the switch does not know that it's S1. The switch only knows that it's called switch. So to have the uh, switch know uh, that it's S1 and not switch, 
and we put in host name S1. That automatically changes the name, and now we go from switch config to S1 config. <laughs> so that confirms that it does, in fact, now know that it is S1. Uh, now to secure access to the command line, uh, we go. Uh, we make sure we're in configure terminal mode, and then line console uh, zero. There's only there's typically only one console line, and that's console zero. And we have to line into the console, <laughs> so that's why it's called the line console zero. Then set the password. Me in. And notice here on the lower uh, on the lower right hand corner of the uh, activity, it gives you a completion in how many points you have out of how many points total. Notice that the 17 is going to change as soon as I press enter on password let me in. And it changes to 21. So there were five points in creating the password for let me in. And then we do login to force a login when we're uh, going into the console. And then changes to 25. So there's three points there. <sighs> and, and it's always a good idea to... Uh, Confirm. So this is confirmation that a password is now required. <laughs> um. Now to set, um, to secure the in uh, the uh, privilege mode. So enable password. First, it would be a good idea if I went into global. And then enable password. And it's always a good idea to do uh, leak speak, because that's more secure than non leak speak. And I just verified that it is secured. Uh, line console <coughs> has the password of let me in. And then... No encryption, hosting S1, enable password to Cisco. Uh, it wants us to uh, enable secret. Uh, it's a secret. Uh, I notice now when I do running show running config, 
the secret is, uh, uh, is hashed. Uh, so when you enable a secret, it's automatically hashed. But you have to do something else to get the other passwords uh, to be hashed like that. Uh, so the thing we need to do to uh, uh, encrypt uh, the other passwords is to go into config T and then do service password dash encryption. And that'll, uh, that'll encrypt all currently unencrypted passwords. But if you uh, set a password after you do this, uh, it won't encrypt those, just the ones that are already set up. Now, if we do uh, show running config again, you'll see that uh, the password is now encrypted. And so is the password for the uh, console line. Uh, so, configure a MOTD banner. That's the message of the day. And it's basically a CYA situation. Um, it doesn't really add security. It's it only adds security for those who don't want to get in, don't want to risk getting in trouble. So if it were up to me, I would do banner MOTD. Uh, it's been open. Uh, okay, so then double quotes. Um, <laughs> and me personally, I would say something about Area Fifty One. Because, you know, that's a few miles north of me. But, you know, it wants this phrase. This is a secure system. Uh, authorized access. Um, and when you're doing assignments, sometimes it'll ask you to uh, put in a very specific message of the day. Uh, other times they're going to only tell you to put in a message of the day that has this word in it somewhere or that word in it somewhere. Um, basically, in order to get points for a message of the day on these assignments, uh, you're going to be doing exactly what they put in if they tell you to put in a specific uh, series of sentences. Or uh, if they don't give you that and they just give you what words... Uh, that it should include a specific word. You can develop your own sentences in those cases, but make sure that the word that they tell you to put in there is in there somewhere. And so, when will it be displayed? Uh, when you try to log into the uh, console. Uh, and why should every switch have a banner? Uh, it's a, C a CYA situation. Uh, it'll only prevent those who don't want to get in trouble uh, to access the system.
That should be a D, not a B. And I should delete the B. <sighs> and then I come back to this. Uh, And just save the configuration file to copy running dash config uh, startup dash config. Uh, because the configuration as is being used right now is basically it'll be gone when you shut it down. <laughs> uh, it's in volatile memory. Uh, so this saves it to the non-volatile memory. And config. And it looks like it is, yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to go to switch Q and repeat the same process. So, enable... Uh, host name as two. When it comes to T, then host name. Um, password let me in in the console, then log in, then exit. Then enable password. C one dollar sign C zero. Enable secret. It's a secret. And then banner MOTD, open quote, pays, close quote. And then uh, uh, service password encryption. And exit. And then copy running config uh, to uh, startup config. And that is the end of 2.2.3.4. Uh,